fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell, your league? So, we about to get into this video with um Easy. So, basically, it's a lot going on right now in Natalie's family with her brother and her sister, her um her sister's ex-boyfriend, it's a lot going on. So easy, you know when easy come out and say something, baby, she's spilling it all. <laughs> so we about to get into it. Let's get it. Man, do y'all eat these? Cause these is fa 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 fa. We gonna make us a bowl of cereal. And so first, she got into the bowl of cereal. I'm hilarious, y'all. To me, honestly, it really is. Like, um, this whole back and forth internet stuff is. I don't know why she thought she was gonna be able to get a bowl of cereal. I don't know if it's funny or just like Are you serious. Now I gotta finish my bowl of cereal. You cannot mukbang a bowl of cereal. Eating a bowl of cereal. And I'm about to First go off, get a bowl of cereal. I wanna man. say, I wonder if y'all know, like, when I'm tweeting, I don't tweet like this. <laughs> That's how I be tweeting, y'all. Ain't no way. You a weirdo. That's how I be tweeting, y'all. But, um, let's just make this short and simple. The back and forth, the little subtle things. At the end of the day, ain't nobody rocking with Cena's ex. And it ain't because everybody turned on you, bro. You admitted it to the whole camera. I know it could seem like the the world is ganging up on you, buddy. But oh, you did God, this yeah. to yourself. You know Same what I'm shit. saying? And it's like, to me, I understand the ganging up on. But come on, bro. How you hurt every single person in the family? At, no, like literally, every, you personally did things to every single body. It wasn't just, I uh, laid all my dirty laundry on Jacina. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that. Like you individually hurt every single body, including me. You feel me? Like you did some like weird, it's a weird old ass situation. I don't know what you're seeking on the internet. I don't know what this whole skeleton thing is, but I think you need to seek better help because it's not coming off authentic. I've been doing this for a really long time. And the one thing I know about my supporters is they know when I'm being authentic and unauthentic. They know when I'm filming a skit right. and then they know when I'm filming something genuine and real. There's just so many examples I can give, but I don't need to because the world can see when I'm being genuine. You feel me? And it's just like, this thing isn't meant for you. And I don't even think that you really understand what you're doing. I think that you really believe what you're saying. And that right there is why I think that you should seek different type of help. I can just tell the way that your stories are just everywhere and your timelines are just everywhere. It ain't making sense. The world can see it and it's not adding up. Um, so just to speak on my behalf, you ain't got to uh, fake apologize to the world, to me. You had every opportunity to apologize to me and you're the type of person that deflects. You're never the type of person to acknowledge what you've done. What happened? Easy, easy. What did he do? Happened in Mexico when you was on me and my girl. Oh, here it is. What? What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what did you say? You're the type of person that deflects. You're never the type of person to acknowledge what you've done. What happened in Mexico when you on me and my girl oh. i would never forgive you and i never have forgiven you now nah, he hitting folk <laughs> five four three two one okay now nah, he hitting them where the hell was natalie brother at you see why i don't i don't like going on vacations with folk y'all can y'all imagine spending a whole bunch of money on a vacation and somebody try and fight you absolutely not and you know that and you crossed the line because you were insecure you know what i'm saying and nobody did nothing to you and it's always an excuse with you when you do something it's always a reason like well this and that you know what i'm saying like i was this and that and then like when people bring it to your attention you deflect and you you put the blame on other people you know what i'm saying and the things that everybody found out because you was you wanted to cleanse yourself it's so narcissistic it's an ick like bro watching your videos is an ick but it's I like gonna lie. watching his videos watching his video is like watching the ocean waves go backwards <laughs> 
Can y'all imagine a rewinded ocean? Oh, it's that bad. Like some shit that don't even make sense. There's just no way this man is really saying this stuff right it's now. So Nobody's terrible. ganging up on this guy. Like, I promise you. I know what ganging yeah, up is. I promise you. He's hurt every single person. And it's like, at what point? This is okay. like, damn. You break up with Cena and it's like, all right, fine. You ain't going to be with me. Let me tell you what I did. Oh yeah, and I was I was trying to I was trying to I was trying to smash Natalie too. Nigga, oh, what? Nah. Oh no. <laughs> Not he trying to smash Natalie boo. What the hell? That's a confident stud face right there that you would never be able to do that. That was a confident face right there. <laughs> it's like, nigga, at what? the end of the day, like, bro, the man is a joke. Like, first and foremost, that's 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 my business because now you inserting you know yourself Yo, in my yeah, life stop. and you telling <laughs> Cena that you was trying to do that like nah I don't know what's more dumb for you to actually admit that because that was never gonna happen and Natalie is just like what or it's like you believing that that's cleansing yourself so either way like imagine if you told Cena that imagine what else he told her. And he's trying to play this game like he was like, to you where... You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm about to just tell you everything I've been thinking. I want to smash your sister. I don't like easy now. Your brother's a square. Uh, I want to smash uh, Nat. Just keep going on the smash, Nat. It's like I, I would have smashed your brother's girlfriend if he wasn't always in her face. Oh, God, I would have. And if you got a best friend, I would have waxed that ass, too. Like, he just went on a tangent of, like, what? It's like, but you gonna bring my moms into it? Like, you gonna, but my mama, she got dressed because of you. And ain't no offense. His mama been in my crib. Hey, hey, man, ain't nobody did nothing to his family. Nobody. So whatever your mom is feeling, imagine Mama Rhonda. Talk to your moms. Talk to her. Tell her what you really did. I think that's what it is. I think your mom is so hurt, she don't know what you did. Because when we came to the house, and we was there, and you was there, you didn't think we knew anything. Because the type of time you was on, I was like, oh, he must not. <laughs> this guy must not think that we know. And Cena's over here boo-hoo crying. And what well, he think that Cena just said, hey, yeah, me and Brian broke up. Yeah, they, they done what? told everything. Like, I she tried like, to ask. Oh my God, Natalie said he wanted to. Yeah, he said he wanted to do that. And Izzy was probably like, what the fuck? She would probably tw Twitter finger and some shit up for real at that moment. That's a Twitter tapping nigga right there. <laughs> no cap. I do not go through shit and be like, let me fucking go on Twitter. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. I have a relationship with this man and I had to see for myself his demons and because he couldn't get over his insecurities about stuff he decided to overcross the line I'm like hey man I ain't even have to be cool with your ass I really didn't and now you push me away too my nigga the only person that you really could have had in his family to even confide in or help you out my boy but damn Thanks. The insecurities that you got to work on and the healing that you got to do, you got to do that before you involve yourself in anybody's life. Because you've damaged so many people. Think about all the apologies you had to issue out to everybody. You had to apologize to Jacina for everything she found out and everything you told her. You had to apologize to Josh. And damn, bro, you did the same thing you did to your own blood to Josh. And he just now finding out. You what had to that? apologize to Natalie. You had to apologize to me. You had to apologize. I guess you said something earlier too about your cousin. It's like, you really got to seek some help, man. I think that from somebody that's been doing this internet stuff for a long time, just hop off the internet, bro. Hop off the internet and stop seeking guidance through these people you don't know. He you definitely need to get the hell off the internet because he sound crazy. Getting your skeletons out to who? I don't think they care. And you trying to yeah. hurry up and confess all this stuff, even that mentality, the way you doing it, is just skeptical. You know what I'm saying? It's so skeptical. What are your intentions behind it? So don't try to make a response video because it's not gonna it's not gonna end well. The back and forth and acting like you ain't watching everybody's videos, you are. 
Because even if you technically wasn't, you're watching reaction videos that has the videos in it. Like, so stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to the world. When it comes to Zasha, there's just been so much drama that I can only speak of my drama. Mm -hmm. My drama involved my girlfriend. It's just the simple fact that you keep speaking on that. Like, you speaking on her on live. You talking crap about every everybody. You talking crap about Cena and Nat on live. And nobody has said nothing. You have implied so much on the internet. And they have not said anything about her. Have not. And when I tell you on that, is a changed woman. The relationship that Nat has, I feel like, built within herself to show Zasha like yo she's tried so many different ways with her and it's like you know me being like the I'm the I'm just a girlfriend and I see it you know what I'm saying and I was cool with Zasha but it's like yo Zasha you be pushing it bro you be really pushing it like talking on the internet talking to your close friends about my girl just ain't it it's going it's not that Natalie's a bully because she has not said one word to you or to anybody. Natalie ain't said shit. And Natalie probably don't care. She 86 this whole entire situation. Nat's the type of person that like to keep her family shit within the family. Things that y'all got going on, I applaud Natalie. She is a different person, bro. Not even behind closed doors, Nat's not talking about you. So the whole bullying and making it hard in the gay community, I think you're making it hard for yourself because Nat is so big in the gay community. Not only her supporters see that you're talking crap about her, her friends see that you're talking crap about her. What y'all got going on and the reason why y'all ain't messing is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And she has not brought any of that to the internet. So this narrative that you're painting, imagine like, I'm tired of it. You know, she's tired of it. Her friends are tired of it. Jazz is one of the nicest people I ever met. And it's like, damn, again? Nah, you can't take up for Jazz because Jazz sent her a message and I feel like that absolutely wasn't Jazz's place. So Jazz can't be the nicest person in the world. She done, she's sliding people, you know, inboxes talking crazy. Again, you bringing up Nat again online and we in the Maldives. We 15 hours away. You bringing baby's name up. Come on and making this seem like she is bully. And this is an ongoing thing. People are fed up. I just feel bad because everybody know everybody love them kids. You know what I'm saying? And one thing I can say, the love that they have around them is just so amazing. And man, that boy Isaiah, man, that's my, I, bro, I love that dude, man. He is so cool. And it's just like this internet stuff and the drama and the dirt, like she got to be worked out because it's like, it's too messy. Like I'm trying to give y'all advice here. While my cereal gets soggy. All I'm saying is, for me and my end with y'all two, just don't speak on me or my girl or just come off phony because it's just like, ain't nobody bullying you because it, that ain't happening. If you're making it seem like my girlfriend is a bully, I'm gonna stand up for that. Y'all gotta stop hopping on the internet because y'all new to this. Y'all ain't true to this. And when you do it, people okay. can see through it. Y'all are bringing she this on yourself. Shit. So just stop it. Stop the cop. That's just a word of advice for y'all. That nigga said y'all new to this, it's, not it's true just, to this. It's not healthy. Okay? So don't do this to yourself. <laughs> That's, uh-uh. That's crazy. Y'all see Beyonce tried to play just now? Oh, Beyonce dropped that on her own. That's crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I just really feel as though, um, first of all, Easy gonna stand up for hers, child. She is going to stand up for her woman. Okay. And she did. And as she should. Uh, however, comma, L, if Natalie ain't say nothing, then easy. What are we doing? <laughs> but that, the the boyfriend of her sister, the ex-boyfriend of her sister, he he's a lot. He's a piece of work right now. So I really don't blame her for speaking about him. But anyway, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think? It ain't that a crazy plot twist? Like, yo, my ex boyfriend tried to smash my sister. That's crazy. But love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.